back there if you are you exuberant Brenders. And here's another video, the road to Dusseldorf part two with Rocky the Peugeot. Um, high on the success of a video that you've not seen yet because I haven't done it yet. I haven't published it yet. Um, we need to do more um, detailed work that's just more than me changing the brakes. And it's the catalytic converter in there. Now, the issue, if you haven't watched the last video, is that there's a, a little nut there, somewhere around there. Um, that snapped off the last time I changed it, and I changed it because, as you'll see in a minute, these crack. And I'll hopefully show you about where they do crack. Honestly, don't know how bloody hard. Well, some of you will. Um, you warm babies really do take it out of you. But I know I sounded a bit depressed at the end of the RAV4 video. I suppose I was. But not because of the baby, because of the RAV4. But that stuff, magical, will get you through anything. Anyway, first step is we're going to deal hope the video's all right we're going to deal with the um the bumper so you can see here that's from when the uh the wife went asked about it around around about um which i now think really was down towards the um the rear brakes being seasoned a little bit so caused it to oversteer um problem is more often than not when you take the bumper off there's a plastic uh, bracket at the back and they will break this bumper will have been off four times now and at least three of those times I've managed to break either that bracket or the other bracket so as far as I'm concerned they're a um, what you call it they're a consumable because they're just so crap and I've got massive hands strong like ox and I don't know my own strength so um There you go. Comes off. Comes off a lot more, a lot easier when the brackets are broken. Now, this one. This one's not so bad, so I probably won't change that. But it's just it can be really problematic trying to get the uh, the clip, uh, the thing of the bumper to go in there. And then this bracket, I think, goes as part of the, the light. Well, here though, oh, it's actually broken. Oh, well, sorry, that's that's not good. Because it's actually broken along there. I need to think about what to do on that. This is the cat, the uh, catalytic converter, and it's a mani cat, so it goes straight into the manifold there. 
Um, problem is that for whatever reason, there's a it's really hard to find, but I'll, I'll do it when I get it off. Um, it's in terms of there's a bolt there that wasn't connected when this car left the factory in the Czech Republic or Czechia and the issue is is that from down here from here sorry down is the downpipe and there's only one it's like a straight through really it goes right to the back to the to the back box and through the vibrations and everything um, of what's underneath I sort of wiggling wiggling the cat like that but it's held in place here at the top of the manifold obviously so over time a crack appears and the crack goes all the way through and then it just detaches itself so I think anyway um, this is the third catalytic converter I've had on it uh, in about 2012 2022 now so and I've had the car 11 and a half years at this point from brand new and this first became an issue at 60,000 miles at which point I then bought a um, I bought one for a hundred pound from your car, Euro car Pratt and it was dog shit um, it was choking choked the engine of the little bit of performance it's got uh, and then I sourced this one off eBay um, and it lasted a year until it got the crack again um, at this at that point I hadn't um, realized that this bracket was a thing until I can't remember how I found out but yeah so it's a thing anyway um, took it off last year to weld it with us I only had a stick welder and the first time I did anything like that on it and um, I mean I'm happy enough to say it's, it's held apart from a little hole there my words are crap well regardless um, putting the skills used on my RAV4 to use and I'm gonna go around and weld this back up again probably put a good bit of weld on might try it as well and put a bit of a gusset there if I can just so it holds there's more of it to hold um, along there but that's I'm not sure however the problem gets compounded not through access but it's typical I can't really no, that'll do through here so you can see my finger which I don't think you can because it's black there bottom of ratchet there's a nut there there's a nut over there and there's two I think underneath um, the problem is the one underneath there and um, that broke off um, last year so I have been driving around and I'll try and put a photo in now if I, if I can of um, what's happened is basically because there's not a proper seal on it so all the uh, exhaust is going out through that part of the manifold that isn't sealed up um, and it's going into the airbox on top of it coming into the cabin and uh, doing its best to kill me or whoever's driving it um, now way to get around that obviously um, we used to put the air circulation on or off basically so it doesn't bring air from the outside in and have at it you know job done um, problem is then obviously in the winter or long journeys or something if you're in the car the, the windows get steamed off they're not in the good way um, so I had to drive around with one of the windows at the back open which is pain it's not too bad in the summer but in the winter it's pain the pain the proverbial so the fix here really is as it starts to rain is um, to drill it out of some description if they can get access in that's what the, some uh, mechanic guy told me because I thought I ain't doing this myself um, problem there is that it's only if he gets access if you can't get access um, 
then it's it's a case of taking the engine out or the head out of the beast. Um, now as you see these pipes here, these are the, this is for the aircon that doesn't work, and hasn't worked for a few years. Um, should really fix it at one point, but again, you know, never really, never really bothered me in some respect. You're not going to get, a, we're not going to get a drill through there, um, not without taking the aircon out. So on one hand, could fix, uh, could fix the aircon while it's being done. Uh, but I, th I think ultimately it will be a head out job. I'm not going to do that with this. Um, what I want to do just to see if it will make a difference for for a good portion of time is uh, to use the red RTV sealant. Probably won't work. Um, but for a tenner, um, for a little tube, just to do that, it, it's worth it. I'm just going to pause now and get a uh, gazebo over me so I can carry on with this work. I'm getting off PTSD from all the rain that, I'm, that I seem to encounter when I'm doing this sort of or anything outside really. So I don't know how much you actually saw in that. Um, but it's there now. It's all ready to come off. Apart from the little bracket. And this is what I'll, I'll show you more in a second. But the other thing I need to make clear is that this oxygen sensor goes on the top there. Wraps around that thing. Plugs into that. That is a 21 mil. Sorry, that is a 21 mil, not or whatever head. Free, I don't give a shit what the name is called of it. Um, I haven't got one, which I think I uh, sort of said to myself I'd do, I'd buy when I do this job again, or if I do this job again. But this got me out of a hole. Whoa, hold on a minute. This got me out of a hole. King Dick. Yeah, can't remember where I bought that, but uh, it's a very nice, nice uh, thing to get you out of a hole. <laughs> King Dick hole, yeah. childish mind. Anyway, I'm gonna carry on, get this out, and then I'll hopefully explain it more when I get it out. As in that, not the yeah, you know.
cool so there we are here is the source of so many issues for so many people in in this world at the moment the man uh, the catalytic converter so this is the this is the bracket that I'm talking about this wasn't on my first catalytic converter even though I was, came from the factory with it um, wasn't on the second one it only came on this one it was only until this one came um, that I got this I was like well, what the freak is this about and then I saw you know I was put a, trying to put a photo in here now um, of what that actually does and I thought well that makes all bloody sense now isn't it because you see down pipe goes there and that's wiggling itself there or well, no actually hold on let's get this one straight the, the um the manifold itself is going blah, 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 like that like it's a v8 or something blah, 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 blah. um and that's obviously putting pressure on the joint here because there's a or from here to here is it's allowed to flex so this bracket is there so so much as that the whole thing vibrates and at the join where there is i suppose you could argue there is a bit of uh, movement allowed um it does the movement there instead of the higher up here um now as i said previously if you can just zoom in not zooming freaking oh hang on there we go higher up now don't get nosebleeds there we go as you can see here this is my first attempt at welding ever and I would imagine I missed a bit but it held held as much as it could um, but now my welding is better uh, I've got to put the PTSD from the, the RAV4 to some use and what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to weld all along that to do that first though I need to take this heat shield off as much as I can so yeah let me get my tools Look at this. You know, getting the band back together. Behold, my shit welding knows no bounds. So yeah, um, but I mean this is, gonna be, this is roaring hot. But um, I went around it a few times. Um, you know, it's the spatter and things like that. Um, for a bit of this, I realised my uh, gas was um, broken. Uh, the regulator. Um, my fault that I didn't remember to get a new one but it doesn't matter for where it's going it's fine that'll do that'll do that'll do 
you know and let you in a little secret if this breaks this is why we're not so fussed I have another I think this is cut out but I'm not worried about this because basically I have another cap so no bother at all just and uh, yeah so I'll let that cool down I don't know whether you can hear that or not but it's like to snow or hail or something I don't know uh, which is handy but because of the RTV I'm going to um, clean this up very quickly same in the engine so that when this is cooled down enough for me to put it on I can do that and uh, let the RTV set for 24 hours I think so it's half four now another baby to walk so you won't mind me if I don't film this next bit So this next day, and um, I'll let you into a secret here. I use a Motorola uh, phone to film all this crap on. Um, my f yeah, my phone Thursday Friday uh, got given Android an Android 12 update, and ever since then it's been a crock of shit. So basically filming yesterday that all of a sudden I went from 100% battery to 1% so the battery died um, filming so I couldn't film myself putting this all back together but if you can you see there the red sealant is on or the RTV now where is it gone let's have a look This stuff again um, resists temperatures over to 343 degrees. Um, focus. I imagine that gets a bit hotter than 340, um, but I, I can't find any details about it. Some people online anecdotally have used this stuff and it's been fine on the manifold, but depends on the engine, doesn't it? I think this doesn't get hot enough to cause a problem anyway behold all the welding there um, it's been a while since I did any welding so um, I managed to do the first lot without any gas I'm wondering why it weren't working then I realised my regulator's toast anyway so I need to get a new one but it's all on um, all tightened up uh, as much as I can. Same with down the bottom, and the same with the little the little bracket that's that's in there. Now, I think with this stuff, you're meant to leave it 24 hours. Um. Ah. Oh, hold on. 316 degrees continuous or up to 343 intermittent well the autobahn will no doubt test this oh, there it is silicon dries in one hour and fully cures in 24 hour more time in cold conditions yeah I mean what time is it now it's half one now as I film it finished it about four yesterday so I've got three hours before I turn it, turn it on so what I will do now is I am going to attend to a little my little problem here. Um, the most problem with this, as I was explaining earlier, is that these brackets here they break quite often. Um, so when the wife dinked it, I was quite surprised to see that it had broken there, not here. I'm surprised because I've bought a new one for that, a new bracket, 
well not here and I think this is actually part of the headlight so I obviously don't want to replace the whole headlight for this little crack here so what I am going to use some super glue and some baking powder because at the very least I mean it's hold it was holding the bumper on it never fell in my teeth with it but um, yeah it's just at the very least if this breaks anymore or if this breaks off completely it's just a new headlight so well fiver and glue and baking products and do something on it but anyway so plan is today to do that but then the next plan is as well is this because it's leaking water still and this is from a previous bodge job I did with silicon and it's just not worked we'll get get onto that in a bit anyway, so put you down now and we'll have a crack at that Okay, so while we, while I wait, tackle the next job, and it's on here, and the rear, this, the high, high level light thing, um, the common problem with these Peugeots, the Citroëns, and Toyotas, and it's basically that the, the seal, this thing, yeah, that thing uh, perishes. Now the problem was when this perished for me. Um, I, th I did this repair about uh, four years ago now, and it never really worked. The problem is like where where the car park is parked as well. The the light, the sun really gets to it, so it dries out, um, and I do a shit job unfortunately um, the problem was that at the time you couldn't really buy the, the, the gasket, I couldn't find a place where the, they sold the gasket that was in stock without buying the light, now the light's fine, the light works it's just this the, this, this rubber stuff um, but thankfully someone has got a kit and I'll put the, the kit in the description that I used not that I get any money from it I don't actually so maybe I'll wait to see if it's a good idea before I start sharing it but basically they provide you with this and they provide you with the silicon sealant now this is only for in for here for where the um, where it screws on so what I will do now is I'm going to run off and I'm going to get a screwdriver and take that off That's all as good as I want to get it. Goes that way, yeah. So, let's say this as I have brake cleaner in my eye. Don't do that because that is not pleasant. Probably make, probably make me blind.
here. I don't know how well you can see this because I can't really see it well on Seems like a uniform kind of seal. So that should do. Yeah. Next point is clean up all the crap that I've left um, and then just see what sort of seal that I can make here. Okay, so the next area where um, there might be water ingress is along the seal here which pushes up against the glass um, problem is well no there's no problem I try uh, pardon me I can't remember whether I tried to um, source a new rubber for here I'm going to imagine I didn't, but the issue is is that um, the gap between the glass and the, that isn't as tight as what it should be, especially up here, it actually just feels quite crushed. Um, so this, see, this stuff will go in along the top and um, yeah, push act as, a, as another barrier to this. Quite honest with you, I don't think that's a great success. And I did it a bit too short there. Did it a bit too short there, sorry. A bit long there. But you know what? As long as it keeps the rain out starts filling the um, the wheel well um, full of water I think it's all right what else is left um, it's half two now so I've still got another half an hour glove box when I bought the car a glove box like that was an optional extra um, and it was quite expensive and I think I managed to get that glove lid glove box lid um, for 20 quid and it's been great but all of a sudden it just doesn't want to close I have no idea why um, I'm going to try and add a bit I don't know what you can see like a, where that goes in Add a little bit with my new favourite super glue. Just something there, like a little bit of a, a little bit of a tab, and that should shut it. Okay, so it's been 20 minutes. Gasket's holding. Doesn't smell like doesn't smell of any nasty stuff. Um, I think it's worth noting that. There is also no um, warning light. Right, so everything's working. Everything is as it should be. I'm going to put the bumper on now with me nuts.
Uh, so, I mean, I'm a year on from what you just saw. And here's proof. If you know, you know. Um, but also, it's in a fair few miles since um, the last video. And also, if it sounds weird, this is usually the, the phone that I record with. I got bought these new the, the Rode wireless things, but I can't get them to work. I don't know why. So I'm having to make this on my iPhone. Oh. See you there. It's all good. Everything's fine. That's fine. The welding's held up and it's good and it's been everywhere. There I am. Um, rubber seal I've had to change um, and it didn't really make a difference to the water ingress. It slowed down, but the, it was the seals there that had gone. Maybe. Yeah, you can see. No water coming through there though, um, so that worked. And um, everything else is grooving. Did I get to bustle off though? Well, you'll have to, you'll have to find out. I'm not telling you. Not in this video, anyway. Oh. So once again, if you like, if you like this video, if it's helpful, or whatever like it uh, or subscribe up to you it's free i don't get any money from it um if you don't like it just don't do a thumbs down tell me why tell me why you're wrong sorry i'm wrong um but yeah hopefully the next video won't be too long away and uh just stay safe keep out of trouble um, and don't watch much of the day.